All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome out. This is Thursday Night Live on WNST. We are out here at Green Mount Station in Hampstead, where we're already seeing a ton of purple rallies. Carroll County always comes correct. We head out this way. It's all brought to you by Fremont Mortgage. We're happy to be here. My name is Glenn. I want to introduce you to the real host of Thursday Night Live. He caught a touchdown on Sunday. He wears number 88. He is a tight end for your Baltimore Ravens. Make some noise for Dennis Pitta, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. I feel like you're more spirited after you catch a touchdown. Yeah. I don't know if you if you followed along with introductions, but I feel like weeks where you know you had like two, two catches and thirty yards, they're sort of like, oh yes, it's nice to have you here. <laughs> and then weeks where you catch a touchdown, they're like, oh we love you, Dennis. Or is I that just notice that? Is that just me? Am I the only one that does that? Well, that's that is. All right, fair enough. You've got a guest out here tonight. He is a cornerback for the Baltimore Ravens. He wears number twenty-three. Your guest is Shucky Brown. Yeah. I hope that uh, Dennis warned you all first time guests of the show have to sing. I, I mean, I assume. That's Dennis true. told you, right? I mean, he did, I didn't warn him. You didn't tell him that? And we're going to put him on the spot like this? I guess. I mean, this. I, I, no. No. <laughs> all right. What'd you do for your rookie talent, though? When you had to do rookie talent show, what was it? Uh, I saw my fight song. What, wait, you saw your, your fight song? Yeah. What is the Texas? I don't even know what the Texas fight song is, honestly. The eyes of Texas are upon me. The eyes of Texas are upon me. I actually do know that song. There's no way. Tyrod did a few bars of the Virginia Tech song last week. I mean, if you can really call it a song. Well, he didn't. Yeah, correct. It wasn't a song. It was a weird rambling of things that aren't words. Right. But, I mean, you can't give us, like, just a couple of bars. Mm. Uh, the eyes of Texas are upon you. Singing right there. I really did. Yeah. yeah, I guess it's the part where I say that guests don't usually sing. <laughs> but I just that was Dennis told me to do that. He was like, dude, we, I got a plan for tonight. Yeah, let's get Shocky to sing. So that's you got to put that one on Dennis. Congratulations on a big playoff win, gentlemen. Thank you. It's gonna be pretty nice. All you guys have ever known is winning games in the playoffs. It's every year that you've been in the National Football League. I mean. I assume it doesn't get old. I guess we should start with that. It doesn't get old. That was, uh, you know, it was a fu really, really fun game. And, uh, you know, for a variety of reasons. And, uh, you know? We'll probably talk about some of those, by the way. Yeah, yeah we'll sure probably we'll, get to that. Sure, well, I won't mention them. <laughs> right. Shocky, for you, this is probably the first time in a playoff game that you've been really involved. This is your first time to shine, really, on a playoff stage. What was that like for you? It was a very emotional game. You could tell, you know, the way we played, uh, the, the crowd, and uh, I mean, I just had fun, you know, just out there having fun with my teammates. By the way, I, you always have fun. I have noticed since you've been around Baltimore, I never walk by where you're not smiling. De Dennis, is this? Have you ever walked by Shaky Brown when he wasn't smiling? Um, I've ran by him on the field, <laughs> and he wasn't smiling then. Uh, Shocky, would you like? Would you like to retort? That would was a like, bad joke. <laughs> would, would you like to, you know, uh, uh, confirm or deny that report? No, everybody got their opinions. <laughs> <laughs> I was kidding. But I mean, you're always you're, you're a smiling type of dude. Sometimes I feel like it's it's like a self confidence thing. Tell me about why it is that you're always smiling when we see you. First of all, my mama said never hide a pretty smile. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. That's your name, you know? Is that Dennis why you're never smiling? Uh, that's part of the reason, yeah. There we go. Might be it. Yeah. You, I mean, you always look like you're having a good time. Like, you know, it's that's just... That's true, man. You gotta, you know, you gotta... Even though you know you're having a bad day, you can't let people know you're having a bad day. That's cool. Know, just keep a smile on your face. That's real cool. Dennis, you obviously alluded to Sunday and sort of the special nature of what happened out there. Uh, being a part of all of it, just being a part of the introduction and the, the pregame huddle and... The, the place erupting when Ray was introduced. What did it mean to you to be a part of Ray's final home game? Oh, I mean, it was, uh, it was like I said, it was a fun game. And, uh, you know, I, I think 
looking back, you know, when all is said and done, you know, to be really a part of history is what this game was, and uh, you know, I think it'll be something we'll be able to look back on and, and really, you know, cherish that moment. And uh, you know, it was special to see him come out of the tunnel last time and um, be able to get a win. Yeah, um, a huge playoff win at home for him and for our team and organization. I mean, uh, it was just a, it was a really special moment and. You know, in the locker room afterward, there's, there's no better feeling than, than being in our locker room um, after a big playoff win like that. Did, were you on the field for the final play? I don't remember. Were you? On, were you I was. On, I so, was. Did, so did you know what was going on when he came back out there, or did it even surprise you? Uh, I mean, I saw him jog back out there. I didn't really know what he was doing. But, uh, <laughs> Dude, I don't know if you know this, but... Yeah, like, I was like, we got to kneel the ball here, buddy. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, but yeah, then he, you know, he lined up in the backfield, and uh, I didn't see him do his dance actually because you know I was facing the other direction. Um, I was in the line of scrimmage, so I didn't I didn't see that until you know I saw the highlights or whatever later. It was pretty cool. Shocking for you? Did you uh, maybe like save anything from the game to remember? You know, being a part of Ray Lewis's final home game. I mean, me and Ray got a picture together. You know, he was cool. talking to him, and they called us talking to each other. So. I'm definitely gonna get that frame. That's cool. That's really cool, in fact. For you being on that side of the ball, just what's it meant to be around Ray Lewis these couple years in your career for to, to come into a situation where you'd have this type of opportunity? I mean, it's you know it's a blessing. You know, I mean anybody that plays football will hope to be in my position right now, you know, to learn from the best that ever do it, you know, the best that ever played this game. So I mean I take I don't take nothing for granted. Everything you tell me, you know, I, I, I put it in my, my notes and just save it. Can you share anything about what he told you guys before the game? I mean we saw the cameras on him and it sounded like sort of just the Ray Lewis special. It sounded like the typical Ray Lewis pregame talk, but was there anything that he said that was I mean he just said, you know, this the game to just let y'all light shine, you know, I mean the city been waiting for us to, to to have a defensive game, a deep a big defensive stop game. So I mean we, we stepped up and just, you know, it was that time, especially the him off for his last game. Sure. Dennis, the uh, touchdown for you. Tell me about, you know, take me through the play, take me through, um, and of course you didn't really celebrate. You sort of said, oh, that was nice. We got a touchdown. That was a good thing. <laughs> I prefer not getting a touchdown. Well, I definitely prefer to get a touchdown. You know, you gotta act like you've been there before. Yeah, yeah, which is what you've done every time. That's what you did the first time you were there. Yeah, exactly. The first time you were there, like, oh, dude, this is, I'm used to this. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm over like, it. wow, that guy must have scored a lot of touchdowns. <laughs> right, no doubt. The second half, though, you guys you know, coming out firing the way that you did, uh, some of the throws that Joe made, some of the catches that Anquan made, especially, uh, coming alive like that in the second half. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, Joe was lights out in that second half from them. You know, we had some big plays downfield, and uh, Anquan was absolutely huge. I mean, some of those downfield throws and catches were, you know, were the difference in the game, especially in the second half. And so, um, you know, we, we want to kind of continue that momentum going going through into this week. But uh, are we at the point, by the way, where you guys would prefer to be in third and long? I mean, this is getting sort of silly. How many third and longs you guys are converting? Yeah, we, we were just talking about that the other day. That you know, I think in the last four games we've converted at least one third and more. Right. Games, ridiculous. Like yeah. yeah. And so, uh, you know, I think it just speaks to the never say never mentality of this team. And uh, you know. We don't want to be in third and long. It's not, a, it's not a, you know, an ideal position to be in, but um, you know, if we are in that situation, we know that you know we, we can still convert this. So um, you know, we gotta we gotta go ahead and try it. Shaki, what stood out to me defensively from Sunday, and then we'll move on. We'll start talking about what's coming up. But what stood out to me defensively was. You know, they, they, they got down the field a couple of times, but you guys absolutely said you're not getting into the end zone. And and knowing what you're going up against in Denver on Saturday, knowing what you've been through this season, I think there's an acceptance of sometimes guys are going to get yards, but it made the world of difference that they were only able to come away with three field goals. Yeah, I mean, that's the, you know, that's a big goal for every defense, you know, I mean, they, they get paid just like we do, so, you know, they get, they get players, they're good athletes, so, I mean, they're going to make some big plays, you know, but the main goal is, I mean, if they do get to your red zone, they don't come out with three points, you know, three points or no points, so, I mean, that's our big goal is playoff, you know, keep teams out the end zone. Sure, no question. And, and by the way, on the flip side, Dennis, it seems like offensively, the red zone has been, you know, you guys have been really strong in the red zone this season. Yeah, we have, and I think, uh, you know, it's been that way all season. You know, we've been really solid when we get down there, and, uh, you know, the windows get a little bit tighter, everything gets a little bit, uh, 
you know, more condensed when you get in the red zone, but uh, you got to be able to execute at a high level down there. I think Joe has really done a good job of, number one, protecting the football when we're down in there, and two, um, you know, putting it right on the spot where it needs to be. If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net.